Can you tell what's your approach to the exams provided in this DMA talent? So the, the entire structure of Yeah, the structure exam. and how did you approach the exam and how to go with this? Okay. No, I felt the structure of the exams was, was, was uh, formed in a way that it was like taking small steps to reach the top of the hill. So we started with chapter wise exams, then we went to subject wise exams. And in subject wise exams, we had again, we had uh, different types. Say there were, there were separate subject wise tests based on the past questions of that subjects. And then there were se separate uh, subjects wise tests based on NB and NEAT pattern and the normal random questions and of, 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 of DMA's own questions. Image base was separate. Okay. Yes, and then we had module mocks. Module mocks in the sense we had three subjects together say anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, or uh, patho, micro, farm. It was like that. And then the other one was mini mocks. So what was mini mocks was there were the, these were there was tests based on these the most common stuff or the least common stuff the high yield points that high yield points and separate tests on numericals say all the numericals in in all the subjects so etc and then we had the grand mocks so by this way what I felt was with with each each step our endurance and our retaining capacity increase so starting from chapter we are able to start remembering a subject then three subjects together and at the end 19 subjects together we are giving tests and out of all this i felt the chapter wise and few subject wise tests were a little difficult in the sense we are able to get only 60 to 50 to 60 percent even after studying well so what's your take on that sir actually it's not a coincidence we planned it mm -hmm. because what is happening like you know we analyzed uh, the behavior of students you know once you are teaching something especially once you are teaching a small topic and if you give a very easy questions they get overconfidence and they start thinking that you know we are on top of the world we know everything and you know and they start taking things granted and technically the performance would be decreasing from that point because they stop uh, concentrating they stop studying I analyzed the, this, this fact in the university level for quite a long time. Then I came up with the idea to make the standards of this chapter wise exam a little higher. So once they go through even a simple topic, they should understand the concept properly to be implemented in a case form or image form. If they don't have that kind of uh, critical thinking, it would be really difficult to approach this uh, chapter wise kind of exams. So I made sure that nobody is scoring 100. If you are really good, you would score something like 80. Otherwise, most of the people are falling between 40 to 60. This is psychologically implemented. But I guess that about 80 to 90 percent of the students are coping up with the system by studying further or working hard. About 10 to 20 per percentage of the students, I feel that they are like dropping out, thinking that you know we are studying hard and we are unable to achieve uh, the scores higher. But this is really a psychological hurdle what we face first. That's why I implemented this system. I think it worked even for you. Yes, again, I would like to add this thing, uh, what I went through in the exam. So uh, DMA giving difficult tests in DMA, I was so used to getting wrong answers. I mean, there around uh, continuously there used to be five to six tough questions. You know, uh, uh, the questions that make you think that from, from which, which end, which part of the topic this came from. And how it helped me in the exam was, in the exam also there were these patches of tough questions. So in the exam when there were five tough questions and I was able to approach the sixth question also with the fresh mind and not have the impact of those bad, uh, of those tough questions in my approach was the sixth question. So this way I, I thought that those tough questions were helpful. So as a synopsis I just want to uh, tell that we have various chapter wise exams. We have a number of subject wise exams, module mocks, mini mocks and grand mocks. We categorize them in a systematic way starting from the lower dose, this is the chapter wise exam towards the grand mocks. So through this system we are actually increasing your endurance, confidence and we are decreasing the anxiety. This is the best way to approach the exam because once you go and sit in the final exam or the FMG, it's really a stressful condition and without the desensitization, it's not possible to attempt this exam and succeed.